Hey everyone, so um, right now I'm going to first do a mock interview and then, uh, then explain the problem afterwards. So I, I don't know which order you should watch these, but if you want to solve the problem first, then definitely um, yeah, watch the other video and then either do it on your own or have me guide you through it. Either way, uh, just give me your feedback and we'll see how this goes. So um, I'm going to do a mock interview. It's just going to choose a random question for me. Start. Add digits. Okay. Give it a non-negative integer num. Repeatedly add all its digits until the result has only one digit. Okay, um, so you're given a number and you just keep adding its digits and getting new numbers and adding those digits until there's only one digit left. So um, a couple things are going through my mind. Uh, I'm, there's definitely a way to do this recursively since we're just doing the same thing over and over again. Um, okay, well the follow-up is like, can you do it without any loop recursion in 01 runtime? Hmm, that's interesting. Well, let's just start with recursion first. So we have a number. Um, we start with our base case. If num... So if it's two digits, I'm wondering if... Okay, so it's non-negative. Okay, then uh, if it's greater than nine, right, then we just return, return num. Oh, also I'm writing, I'm most comfortable doing interviews in C++, so hopefully you are able to read it. If it doesn't make sense, then we can definitely, uh, yeah, we can definitely, I could definitely try to do another language like Python or Swift. Okay, so if it's not greater than 9, that means that num... Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> if num is less than or equal to 9. If num is less than or equal to 9, that means it's single digit. Otherwise, it's double digit, and we want to add together all its... Um, all its digits. So int new um, equal to zero. And then we just want to go through all the digits of num. So kind uh, of for loop int i equal to zero while i is less while num is greater than 9 I plus plus okay okay so um, at each of these points we're going to take the digit the ones digit so if the number was 19 we would take 9 okay so uh, int, well, I'll just leave that there. Okay, so we take uh, the ones digit, so int ones digit equal to num mod 10. That's going to give us the ones digit. Then we need to shift num over, so 19 becomes 1, right? And we do so by uh, just dividing by 10. Then we add new num um, to one's digit. Yeah, and then we just keep doing this, and then eventually uh, Eventually, um, num will be a ones 
num will be one digit long, and, and then we just add num again to new num. But actually what we could do instead, so what I'm proposing is, uh, I'll just change this, oh, they don't have vim? No, they have to have vim. Okay, whatever. So I could change this so that, uh, yeah, so I'll just do this first. So this is what I could do, or I can just change this to a zero. So as long as it's greater than zero, then yeah, do that. And then, okay, so now new num will be one digit for sure here. Or no, no. New num will be the sum of all the digits of the old num. But we don't we don't know if num is uh, double digits or not. But we don't care. Or double digits or triple digits or whatever. Uh, we just call add digits on here. We call add digits on new num. And uh, if new num is more than one digit long, um, it'll just run the algorithm again, run this algorithm. If uh, new num is one digit long, it's just going to hit this and return. So after that, we're just going to assume that everything down the chain works, so then we just return this value, because whatever add digits returns will also be uh, one digit long. So um, I'm going to explain my algorithm again. Uh, and this is what I usually do like when I have a rough draft, which I think kind of works. In the mock interview, I, after I had my code, I was like, oh, can I explain my um, algorithm again? And they're like, sure, okay. So add digits takes in a number. And um, if it's a single digit, then we just return it. Otherwise, uh, we build a new number and we basically go through all the digits of the old number. So, um, actually, this doesn't even have to be a for loop. This could just be a while loop. So while the number is greater than zero, we just um, take the ones digit, we then um, divide the number by 10, so we shift everything to the right, and then we uh, add the ones digit to the new number. And then when nums is equal to or less than zero, then, oh shit, someone's calling me. Hello? Hi, how are you today? Oh my god. Okay, so... <laughs> After uh, num, yeah, after this while loop, then new num will be built, and um, it'll just keep on recursing until num is finally single digit. So now I'm going to submit the solution. Hopefully, what? Okay, sweet. It got accepted and then I got an error. What? What? The Lico just. What? What? Okay, well, it passed. Liko's probably going through some technical difficulties right now in my first video, but okay. So um, I'm going to add, I'm going to go to add digits. Oh, 
Oh, sweet. Okay, I came back. Okay, so um, this works, right? But we now it's saying, could you do it without any loop or recursions in O1 time runtime? Okay, so that's interesting. So uh, I'm using both the loops and recursion, and it's saying we're given like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're going to compress that into one digit in O of one. It seems like a math trick, and honestly, in the coding interview, you shouldn't expect yourself to have to come up with that kind of solution. Um, the solution I gave before was already working, right? And then um, I also uh, try to explain it well. And the thing is, um, when you're doing these coding interviews, you're thinking as you talk, right? So obviously, while you're thinking, it might be kind of jumbled and like not too direct. So when I do the oh, I'm just going to explain my code at the end. It's my way of explaining the code that makes sense to the interviewer after I've like kind of processed the question. And it's also my way of double-checking my code. As you saw before, like I had a for loop here, right? And after going through it again, I'm like, oh, shoot, this could just be a while loop. Anyway, um... Okay, so I don't what. So you can do this in O of one. Uh, not even O of n. Like you can't even go through all the digits. It's just O of 1. Okay, well, 1 plus 2 is 3, 2 plus 3 is 5. Uh, maybe there's just like a pattern, you know, like um, 1 plus 2 is 3. Three is four. Well, I guess you could sort of like build a hash table and then, um, Yeah, you can build like a hash table and then use those values. So O of 1 runtime is usually, uh, O of 1 runtime is usually deals with hash tables. So you build a hash table. Um, Like, let's say you do 1 plus 2, that goes to 3, 3, oh, okay, that's 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so 4, this goes, 4, 5, 6, 4, 5, 6. So this goes to 9, 
This then, let's say this goes to 15, then this goes to 6, this goes to 10, then this goes to 1, then this goes to 6, then this goes to 12, then this goes to 3. Now let's add these together. 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 6 is 15, plus 4 is 19, plus 5 is 24, plus 6 is 30, plus 0 is 3. Okay, so, um, and that equals 3. What if the number is like 4, 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9? So if I do it, start from the front, it's 9, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this becomes 9, then 15, then 6, then 13, then 4, then 12, then 3, then 12, then 3. Uh, okay, and then what if this? Uh, so I four plus five, nine, fifteen, twenty two, thirty, thirty nine, thirty nine, three plus nine is twelve, twelve. Okay, that goes three, two. Okay, I don't know. I honestly don't know because if I'm just adding these numbers, um, even if I just do one pass, like, yeah, even if I just, I'm able to do one pass, four plus five plus six plus seven plus eight plus nine, and that magically becomes a three digit, one digit number, that's still runtime of n, and it's asking for runtime of O of 1, which is, seems impossible, and seems like there's a trick to this. So, um, honestly, if you get this problem, you can consider yourself lucky, because this problem is like kind of simple and you can consider yourself unlucky if they're asking for the o runtime of O of 1 and honestly if they expect you to get the O of 1 runtime solution then that company is like not looking for the right things because uh, you don't need to figure out these like super hyper um hyper efficient solutions like getting the other ones already pretty good okay well um thanks for watching uh if you haven't checked out the other video yet then check it out i'm probably going to explain it and maybe i'll see what the o of one solution is anyway until then um Thanks for watching and let me know what you thought of this this type of format, this type of video. Um, I'm kind of excited to do these because interview problems are kind of fun, um, especially when, at least for me, I'm not doing them for the sake of preparing for an interview, but maybe that this will also help you. But yeah, all right, thanks, bye.